have some respect for yourself, bro. End that relationship. Walk away. What's up, people? It's your boy, Andrew FAQ. Here with you with another one. I'm excited for this one. Let's go! Today, I'm going to be discussing seven red flags. Seven red flags to avoid when dating women. Let's go! Red flag number one has male friends over female friends. Guys, listen. If a female likes to hang around with guys over her own counterpart, that is a red flag from the jump. Listen, I understand when people say, I prefer the male energy because females bitch a lot. I understand that. But if she's consistently hanging around with male dudes, one of those dudes are hitting it. Trust me. Trust me when I say this. A guy always stays in the friend zone to get the box. Listen, I'm telling you now, if he's in a friend zone for how many months, how many weeks, he is planning to get her in her most vulnerable state and he's going to pounce her when she's at her lowest state. And if that's your girl and she's like, that's just my friend, don't worry about him. Guys, if she starts to do that, that's when you cut ties. You don't need to be in that situation when she's out of her male friends. And I'm talking about straight men, you know, not no gay men. She got heterosexual men with her. And she's telling you that they're just friends. Avoid, guys. If, if, she's, if she wants to hang around with those guys, cool. That's it. Recreational use only. Don't take it serious, guys. Because one thing to know is that if she starts to do that, then she don't respect you as a man. She don't respect you. But now, she's thinking, I can still hang out with dudes, and my boyfriend's cool with it. And these dudes are thinking, well, don't tell your boyfriend that you're with me, you know? Because they have other intentions with her. They are thinking this guy don't know that I want to smash his girl. I want to get deep in there. And if you're gonna allow that, trust me, when she's at a vulnerable state, he is going to get that. So put your foot down from the start. No male friends. I don't believe in no, I don't believe in it. I don't about you, but having male friends, if it's not kin, if that guy is not kin, forget it. <laughs> it's not kin, he's not gay, forget it. Avoid. Avoid at all costs. Red flag number two. Guys, <laughs> listen. If a girl is still keeping in touch with her ex, that is a red flag from the jump. There's no negotiation there. If she says, no, we're just, we're just cool as friends now. Don't worry about it, babe. Listen, show her the door. That's it. Show her the door. That's it. It's done. She, she still feels that she can communicate with her ex. That's saying that she don't see you as her best option. She doesn't respect you no more. She's seeing him as a viable option. She's keeping him in the picture because she's thinking, if me and you don't work, I can still go back to my ex. So if she's still keeping communication with her ex, texting him, oh, I'm okay, keeping keep logs with him, watching these social media, guys, it's a red flag. Do not accept it. Do not allow it for you to come into a relationship and be like, okay, you can, still, you can still keep your ex. I'm cool with it. Bro, you've already lost your respect. you already set the foundation of your relationship. She's thinking this guy is a simp. How can you allow me to still communicate with my ex-boyfriend? My ex-boyfriend, the guy that used to go <laughs> Yes, he was tapping that previously and she still wants to keep in contact with that guy that was doing <laughs> all day, all night. And you're going to be there allowing that to happen. Do not allow it, guys. Avoid it. She doesn't see you as her best option. That's why she's still communicating with her ex. If a girl sees you as a best option, I'm telling you now, she is cutting ties with any man in her life that is not kin. If she's still communicating with guys that are not her family, she don't respect you and she doesn't see you as her best option. There's no, there's no, there's no two ways about it. You can't have the two ways. You just can't. Make, make it make sense. Come on, make it make sense to me. Because right now, that shit don't make sense. Cause I'm thinking, what are you? Are you okay? How are you gonna go tell me that the guy that you used to, I used to smash, now you're telling me you wanna keep him around? You can go keep him around. I'm, not, I'm, I'm, I'm walking another way, mate. That's it. Bye. Have a good day. Yeah, that's it. See you later. Bye. <laughs> Red flag number three. <laughs> Listen, most of you guys are not gonna like this one. Cause I know it's, it's what's happening right now. You met her at a club. Or a dating app. Listen, 
I'm gonna give you some leeway on this one because we're in a modern day society where a lot of relationships start off in a dating app. But listen, if she's still on a dating app after six months, or even after meeting you, and she's still active on a dating app, that is a red flag. If she's still on there and she's saying, no, I don't use that profile no more, but it's still active, bro, she is still seeking other options. There's no two ways about it, bruv. If she's still on a dating app after you've met her and she's still active, she don't see you as her best option. She's keeping you there and she's still looking around. Oh, is she, is he, is he, is he? Like, she's still, she's still doing, she's still doing peekaboo. She's playing peekaboo all day, bro. And that's when you gotta say, all right, oh, you're on a dating app. Recreational use only. Don't even take it serious, bro. Okay. That's recreational use. Recreational use only. Go in there, in and I call it, I call it the in and out job. In there out. Don't even take your socks off. In and out job. Okay. <laughs> Don't take her serious, bro. Cause I'm telling you, and another thing, in a club, listen, girls have to go out party. I understand that. We got a party in. But if she's in a clubs on a Thursday night, Friday night, Saturday night, she's always in the clubs, bro. Listen, I'm 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 sorry to break your heart, but that girl she is for the streets. The street. She likes to party hard with her female friends. Cause look, one thing in the club, yeah, guys are going to search for girls and girls go there for validation. There's two things happening in the club. Guys go search for girls, girls go for validation. So if a girl is going there every day, every like three, three days a week, with her friends, with her single friends, bro, she's going there to get validation from guys. Cause guys out in the clubs are grabbing up chicks, feeling around, and this is just your girl that's always out in the clubs. That's the red flag. You got to end that relationship. I don't even care. But have some respect for yourself, bro. End that relationship. Walk away. Walk away, bro. Have some standards. If she's out with her friends partying all the time, bro. All the time. Coming on at 6 a.m. in the morning while you're sleeping. Bro, you don't know what she'd be doing, bro. She, she could be doing the most. And now she's coming home to you. She's sleeping in your bed. Bro. Bro. End that. Done it. No more. Thank you for your time. Here's the door. <laughs> be, be as polite as possible. Here's the door. Here's, here's your clothes back. Because we can't. We can no longer continue this relationship. You're doing the most. You're out there in the streets. You're for the streets. She belongs to the streets. Yes. Very much so. Red flag number four. She supports sexual liberation over purity. I'm going to break that down to you. So listen. Music. Yeah. You've got these women are saying. Oh. I don't cook, I don't clean like Cardi B. It's telling women that, oh, she's, she's got the ring about cooking and cleaning. Then on the next video, you've got Offset recording her, cleaning the house. you got Sierra saying single ladies and she is married to Russell Wilson. Women are waking up thinking, hang on, you're telling us to be single, but these times you're in a relationship all loved up and getting looked after by a high value man. Women are waking up because a lot of women are seeing, hold on, this, this thing is bullshit. These celebrities are feeding bullshit to our heads. So a lot of women are following the, the um, city girl lifestyle, let's party, single ladies. Those are the ones that are lonely and depressed. And the music are trying to feed it into your head saying, it's fine to be single. No, because they're not single. The girls are saying that it's fine to be single. They are happily married. They've got their partners. They've got their kids. But they're telling you girls to be single so you can buy their music. It's all bag of bullshit. So you need to start to open your eyes. And I see some few women say, oh no, 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 no. This all our uh, SB single city girls up. No, because those are the ones that are suffering the most. The ones that support family, you know, the ones that are nurturing, those are the ones that are going to get wiped up. So the city girl lifestyle, the yeah, hot girl summer, yeah, you're gonna have a hot girl summer and a very cold winter. So you're gonna be lonely. A very cold, cold winter. Cause that hot girl summer's gonna die down. And no man's gonna take you serious when you're all locked up. So guys, don't be taking these girls that are supporting sexual liberation, that wanna have fun, party all the night. Listen, avoid those types of women because those women are not wife material. Those women are three or fours, man. That's it. You don't take them serious because all they wanna do is party and have fun, drink alcohol, get I mean, drunk, and that's it. Come back to you and give you all of their the nastiness that they've been out to avoid it. Avoid dating those types of women, man. Because I'm telling you now, you're only going to bring yourself down, bring your value down, and it's not going to add value to your life. It's going to bring you more stress. So avoid dating these types of women. 
Red flag number five. And this one is a real big red flag. I've seen it so many times. Hiding her phone when she's around you. Listen, if a, if a girl's got a phone on silent mode, listen, she is hiding stuff from you. She doesn't want you to see that she's chatting to other guys. Listen, don't be boo boo the fool, man. Wake up and understand that these lot of girls thinking, oh, okay, he's coming around. Let me put my phone on silent. And then, you know, the phone vibrating. Or they get the phone and they're doing this. They put it against, put it so they, you can't see the notifications coming off of the phone. Bruh, if she's doing that, three or four behavior. Recreational use only, bro. If I was you, I wouldn't call her up on it. I wouldn't say, well, why are you doing that? I was, gonna look, I was gonna look at her twice. I'd be like, oh, okay. That's what you're on. All right, that's cool. And now you made it easier for me just to, to narrow down my selection list. <laughs> now you're just, you're just recreational use only. I just come, I come after midnight. Midnight only. <laughs> you just come after midnight when it's night time. No one sees you, you don't see you in and out job, in and out. Because she's three or four. She's got other guys that she, that's bedding her off. Messaging her, sending her money, bro. She's for the streets, man. I ain't got time for that shit, man. If you're dating a girl, she, I mean, she's serious with you. She ain't got, she don't have nothing to hide. She ain't got nothing to hide from you. I thought when to ping off, and she'd be like, yeah, that's my family or whatever. Because she knows no guy should be pinging her off. But if she still knows that there's guys out there that still gonna be messaging her because she's still entertaining them, that's a red flag, guys. If a girl hides her phone from you or she's trying to hide messages, that is a red flag. Do not accept it. And if you, don't, if you do see it happening, that's it, man. Walk away. Walk away from that because it's not worth it. It's long. It's gonna. It's gonna be a long. It's gonna. It's gonna give you stress that you don't need. Stay stoic. Red flag number six. Listen, if a girl has three or four friends, and I'm a three or four, I mean whole friends, friends that are like to party, that is a red flag. Because the, the saying goes, you are who you chill with. Your net worth is your network. You know what I mean? So if you're rolling around with um, people that are, if I see for example, if I'm one of guys that are smoking, always out, binge drinking, I'm going to become like them, naturally. So if a woman, all her friends are single, like to party, you know, get lit, 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 and she's to hang around with them, trust me, she's going to join that group soon. So... If, uh, if uh, your girl, your dude dating, she has three or four friends, red flag. That's a red flag from the jump. Because I'm telling you now, us guys, if we got, we see a girl that uh, we know that like, she's for the streets, and we see her with a friend, bro, we're like, yeah, that girl's bad. Her friend must be bad too. There's no way that she's hanging out with her and she ain't bad. And all we're thinking is that, let's get down there too. Let's get, let's get it. Because we know that who she's hanging with has been around the block. She's been around the block. And now that's her friend. She's dead. And, you, and that girl could be a good girl. That girl might not even know that she, the, the, the friend's a bad B. She might not even know that. But the fact that once we see that, we're going to be thinking, already, man's going to be thinking, hold on, that's, that's, that's a three or four. Yeah, she hanging around with a girl that's been around the whole block. She must be the new, the new recruit. She new recruit. That's fresh. We need to get, we need to get, we need to get that too because she must be knowing that this girl loves to party, loves to go to after parties. And I mean, so like 6 a.m., 10 a.m. in the morning, partying with guys, drinking alcohol, champagne. This girl must be down with that, that same flavor as well. So if she has three or four friends, bro, I'll be honest with you, it's a red flag. And that's when you got to be like, all right, your friends, I don't, I don't like your friends. You got to you call it from the ace of spade to spade. I don't like your friends. My friends are talking about your, your girl girlfriends. They've been with her. And if you want to hang out with her, I can't take you serious. Put those boundaries there. I can't take you serious. If you're chilling with girls that are out here doing the most, I'm sorry, but me, you cannot be serious because I've got a reputation to keep. You gotta make sure that she keeps your reputation because girls are your reputation. If you choose a three or four, other men are looking at you thinking, right, this guy's a simp. This guy's a simp. He's dating a girl that's for the streets, bro. You know what I'm saying? Be careful who you tie yourself to because that's how you get your validation, how you get your respect from the community, man. Don't pick a three or four as your chick. Listen, seventh red flag that you should avoid in women. And this one is so common and it's, listen, it happens all the time. Posting first trap on social media. Guys, listen, if you're in a relationship with a girl and she still wants to show that she is for sale by posting first trap, 
she don't see you as that guy, guys. Listen, she don't see you as the man. I'm sorry to tell you, if she's still doing that, I'm still single, hit my booty shot. Yeah. Yeah, guys. She don't see you, she don't respect you like that. Because trust me, if a girl sees you as that man, she's no longer posting first traps. She's no longer posting stories of her doing the most. She's going to change everything up. But I'll be honest with you, if you met a girl and she posted first trap from the start, don't even take it serious. You gotta be watching how she is from before she met you. Cause if a, once a, once a three or four, always a three or four. I don't care what. Listen, the same goes. You can take that shiki out of the hood, but you can't take the hood out of that shiki. And that saying goes. Listen, it's a true saying, man. You can't change the leopard stripes. So if she was posting first trap, doing the most like cheeks and shit, bro, you shouldn't have even taken it serious from the jump. That's only for recreational use only. But I'll say if she's in a relationship and she starts to post all these funny things and guys are all commenting on her, sending her DMs. You know she's one, she loves validation, she loves male attention, bro. Bro, and she, she's not the one, trust me. Those, that's the one that most key is a girl posting first trap on social media. There's too many of these girls doing it. And it's simps, they're like, oh my days, you're beautiful. There's so many guys on her, on her, on her DMs and making her head more inflated. Oh, I love you, you're, you're, you're beautiful. She loves male validation, bro. And she doesn't see you as the man. She don't see you like that, bro. She, I'm sorry to tell you. Like, if you tell her, listen, you're posting first track, and she continues to do it, that's it. End of it. End it. You say, yeah, it was, it, was, it, was, it was fun. It was fun while it lasted. But I can no longer continue like this. She needs to start posting you up in her, in her social media. You up in her stories. Bro, I see females posting meals out with guys, but you can't be seeing the guy. I don't know, I don't know the out of guys, but they're posting the meals like, yeah, I'm in Hakkasan. Yeah, who, who took you? Who's taking you Hakkasan, girl? Nah, I'm in Hakkasan, only showing. Listen, I ain't with it. These guys are paying all these meals, expensive meals for these chicks, but they've been posting you up, bro. She's posting the lifestyle, but not posting you up. Red flag. Do not take it serious. End it. That's it. Seven red flags to avoid when dating women. I hope you like this video. If you do, click on the subscribe button. Join the community. FAQ Vlogs, listen, we are levering up each and every time and we need more men like you to join the community. Next time people, let's go!